So let's do a check on the trees I planted yesterday. Is I finished, started up there at that T post. I just painted it yellow with a rattle can a few minutes ago. Came down, did one line down to the T post on this yellow on the left over there. Went up 10 foot to that second T post that's yellow and started on the way back. Ended up right here. This is just my digging tool. Left it there as a marker as to where I quit. So here are the trees after overnight. My quick walk, you know, they look a little shocked, transplant and shocked. But all in all, you know, like if you look at this guy, all in all, I'm not disappointed. Like I said, with 500 advanced generation pine trees and manual planting, I can afford to have a couple of them die. There's my high tech rattle can paint job. Amateur tip, I don't have any pro tips. Amateur tip, stand up wind when you spray the rattle can. I'm not going to go into details as to how that was learned. There's tube number two, well, tube T-post number two. In the second row of trees, those of you that are not color challenged like I am, you can probably see them easier than I can. I have to be very careful when I walk over here to not step on them. But all in all, the ones I planted last night, before bed, well, last night after work before dark, I'm happy with. And we're not going to walk the whole line, but with my eye, I'm not a GoPro eye, I can see all the way, I can see the little saplings all the way up to the post. Well, it helps I was already up there. My goal is to finish this one up to the yellow bucket, or white bucket, yellow post, and then continue on both lines up to where we get close to those four trees, leaving enough room for all the trees to not congest each other. Let's get at it. That was fun. Not. But, stand on the other side so you don't see my shadow, I guess. I now have the second row done. So you see the two yellow posts up there. I have two rows of pine trees, two feet across, excuse me, two rows of pine trees, 10 feet across. I planted them, this second row, I just planted them two per hole. Because there's no way I'm gonna get 500 of these trees planted. I don't even know where to put them because I don't really have a good way to mow where I want to put them. So, I gotta put them somewhere. Can't just let them die. So, two per hole. We'll see how it works, right? I mean, it wasn't like I paid thousands of dollars for these trees. I am impressed by them. I want to go to the Arkansas Forestry Service where they grow these things and see how in the world do they grow this many trees with such a good root system. So, here's one end, one yellow post, one yellow post. If I stand in the middle, it looks like a little runway. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, the trees are so small. But I can just barely see two yellow posts down there. See the two posts up here, and then there's a row of trees between that post and a row of trees between those posts. Hopefully no one tries to land a, I don't even know what, remote control plane? Ha! It would crash and burn as soon as it hit the first bump. So, now I have a bunch of trees left. No way to plant them all in time. Time being before they die. My back is sore, my arms are sore, shoulders sore, thumbs are sore from mashing the dirt back down. Next year, 
I'm going to do this again, but I'm going to see if I can buy the smaller packs. The problem with the forestry service is, I think everybody, shy of me, knew that these trees had good root systems and bought up all the, you know, 50 packs, 100 packs. So, I just walked right through my trees, like I told you. Okay, thankfully I didn't step on that one. Did I step on any others? There's one there. Should be one right around here somewhere. Follow the line. Oh, there it is up there. Okay, good. There's one there. There's one there. Good, I didn't step on any. <sighs> Daydreaming. Anyway, I bought the smallest packs that were still in stock, which were the 500 packs. And the price was still reasonable for that many trees. I thought it was a phenomenal deal. And it is, as long as you can get them all in the dirt. I wonder what type of implement was able to cut that and leave a nice pretty stump for me. So I'm going to do this again next year, but I am going to order ahead of time to get the hunter packs because I could do a hundred trees. I'll bet you there's probably, even if I would have single planted all these, there's probably a hundred trees right here. <laughs> 